As is tradition on our channel, with every new Pokemon game we like to go into the possibilities of new forms, new evolutions, or even just brand new Pokemon that could be created. But we never really talked about who would be the worst Pokemon to receive special treatment. We heavily researched the entire Generation 4 Pokedex by scrolling down Cerebi for half a second, and looked at every design to see which Generation 4 Pokemon would be the worst Pokemon to give a new Mega Evolution to. While we say these are the worst Pokemon to get a Mega Evolution, it's primarily because there's a finite number of Gen 4 Pokemon, and Pokemon fans can find a way to complain about just anything. Worst is also a pretty loosely defined and up to interpretation term, because if Gordon Ramsay cooked you dinner for two nights in a row, one of those would technically be the worst Gordon Ramsay meal you've ever had in your entire life. In that same line of thinking, if we say, looked at a K-pop group, one of those guys is the worst member on the team. It's just they'd still have stands, have a small video of them doing a bodily contortion of a dance posted to every tweet as a reply, and they're still probably good until a twit longer is made about them. So while we will be picking the 5 most post twit longer Pokemon in Generation 4 that would be the worst Pokemon for the Pokemon company to pick and give a new Mega Evolution to in these remakes, for various different reasons, in the end, they would still be good and aren't bad Pokemon. These are the 5 worst new Mega Evolutions, and what their Mega Evolutions could look like for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Purell. Today's video is sponsored by Hunt a Killer. Hunt a Killer provides the experience of an escape room delivered directly to the room you want to escape the most, your living room. Each month you'll be sent a new box that lets you and your friends or family solve a murder mystery. This will be told over the course of 6 boxes containing a different episode that continues the case you've selected to solve. It'll be filled with different clues, items, and reports to go through and get closer and closer to becoming a certified detective. The best part is if you can't wait month after month to continue playing, you can have the next box expedited at any time. It's perfect for a family get-together, an evening with your friends, or even a date night. I know when I go on dates, the first thing I'm trying to figure out is if they're trying to kill me. And thanks to Hunt a Killer for sending me the first box, I got to play through the first episode, and now I know the signs I need to look out for. It's that immersive. Be just like your favorite private investigator, Detective Pikachu, by signing up for a monthly description to Hunt a Killer at huntakiller.com slash jethrotex and get 20% off your first box with code JETHROTEX. See who's the real criminal in your own household while doing a group activity with this mystery adventure delivered directly to you and join a thriving community of over 1,400,000 detectives with Hunt a Killer. Number 5. Cricketune. Cricketune is a really interesting Pokemon as it's not the most popular bug Pokemon, but you know it for a different reason. A design that could really fit this kind of Pokemon is turning it into the body shape of a Praying Mantis. Not actually turning it into a Praying Mantis, I'm just saying giving it the body shape, bug expert Timothy. Just give it a full on more intimidating look, with a fierce more menacing demeanor than its original look of someone cosplaying Ash Jeeves. Dark Bug or Steel Bug, even Fire Bug for its red look, would be really great designs for Cricketoon to give it a more serious appeal. It would really give it the focus it doesn't have in any way. The reason why it would be one of the worst possible Pokemon to be given a Mega Evolution is not just because of its lack of popularity and being a weird choice that would make Pokemon fans say, why didn't you give it to anyone else? It's because we'd have to hear this cry over and over and over again, and even louder and more enhanced than its original cry. Imagine if they Mega Evolved Cricketune and add bass to its cry. It could look like Basic Insect from Yu-Gi-Oh! with that cannon weave I'll add onto its back, but instead of a cannon, it's a subwoofer. That would be a really powerful Pokemon. Overall, it isn't the worst Pokemon to pick. Wait, yeah, it is. It would be one of the worst Pokemon to pick, but there are definitely ways you can use this design to make it look even better and can really enhance the look of that mustache. Number 4. Perugly. Imagine taking a Pokemon called Perugly and deciding you're going to make a more enhanced version of it. Mega Evolutions are known to create a more realistic, yet more complementary form to a Pokemon. If its name is Perugly, how do you make it uglier? Maybe you could make it a normal steel and add just add armor onto it, or a mask, that'd be good. But trying to really come up with a concept for a new Mega Perugly would probably be worse for the designers than Flygon was for them. Like, should Perugly become a fighting type and just max out its leg muscles? 
I don't really know what we'd do here. Maybe we could use that boomerang head to focus on as a way of throwing around new ideas that'll come back to us later. You could put it on two legs and possibly make it look like Incineroar. Actually, that seems like the fix. Just make it bipedal. Number 3. Rotom While Rotom is loved by many people, it does have the problem of what would you even make of it. For each form, it'd be pretty easy because all you have to do is upgrade them to the highest end brand of each appliance. But for the little guy itself, it's likely going to be a bit of a problem. You could make it an electric humanoid looking person, like the Flash. This would make a great group of Mega Evolutions for each part of Rotom. However, the main problem is that the Pokemon Company would need to make sure to give each Rotom form a Mega Evolution. And that's what would make this one of the worst Pokemon to choose. You haven't seen Pokemon with multiple forms be given a Mega Evolution, although you have seen Pokemon with no forms given multiple Mega Evolutions, but if you let out any of the forms, like the lawnmower or the washing machine, that would just be catastrophic. Imagine upgrading the fridge in your living room but not the fan? That's not feng shui. If we're upgrading our one bedroom apartments, then we need to mega evolve all the appliances and furniture, not just some. Realistically, it would seem like the Pokemon Company, if they were to ever mega evolve Rotom, would just focus on its main Electron form, and that would be a shame. It's also the least likely Pokemon to mega evolve, because what do you then do with the Rotom Pokedex and phone? You're not just gonna stay on the Rotom Phone 8 and not upgrade to the Rotom Phone 12 Pro Max, that's blasphemy. While these are all great concepts for every usable form for Rotom, and while Rotom would be a Pokemon well loved by the community to receive a Mega Evolution, it would be one of the worst just for the fact that you would have to expect one for every form, and even then, question the lack of ISO updates on the Rotom phone. Number 2, Luminion. Let's be real, you forgot this was even a Pokemon. While I do think it would be good for Luminion to get anything, literally anything as it's just such an underappreciated Pokemon for how good it looks, it would probably cause a ride in the Pokemon community about why is Game Freak making a Mega Evolution for a Digimon? And you'll realize how true what I'm saying is because not only will they mistake a Pokemon that's not from Gen 1 for a Digimon, they also don't know that Game Freak isn't working on the remakes and that's about as much research as a Twitter mob is willing to do. While I think in a sense it would be the worst Pokemon to choose as it's pretty much been left in the dust and never really got a spotlight, I think it would be a good choice over time as people warm up to it when the Generation 5 remakes come out and the Pokemon Company botches those and everyone looks back years later at how good the Diamond and Pearl remakes really were. Luminion has a really good base design to make a majestic looking fish. I think a Mega Evolution could let it rival Milotic in a sense, although it doesn't have the same passionate battle appeal, at least not yet. If we maybe had it turn into a Pokemon that looks like a complete overall Luminion, like a Sea Serpent, the same way Magikarp turned into Gyarados, but with more grace, so again Milotic, a Blue Serpent version of Milotic would be a great Mega Evolution for Luminion that would bring a lot of attention and applause to it and really enhance the fan base of this usually unnoticed and forgotten Pokemon. Number 1, The Barrel. This is simultaneously the best pick they could decide on, and the worst. Because when you look at these two Pokemon, how can you even enhance perfection? Babero would be one of the fan favorites, and the meme evolution of the entire generation, that would be passed down from ancestor to ancestor over the course of a millennia for the grace and goodness of a Pokemon that can learn 4 HMs at once. While it would be great to see a tougher, more upgraded Babero, like a completed P90X, a realistic and good design for this would be to just tone up its look and give it some extra spikes and really enhance the great base look of Babero, making it tougher for sure, but also giving it a stern in-your-face look like when you see a raccoon going through your trash outside and then lock eyes with it. Normal fighting would be a cool type to make, you could have a more ready-to-attack Babero from the cute sitting down look it already has. But what you're probably wondering is why is this the worst? And that would be because aside from it being a meme pick, if it got one, you wouldn't be able to give one to Bidoof. Gigantamaxes can go on to Pokemon before they evolve, however that isn't the same case for Mega Evolutions. And how are you just gonna leave out the god of all Pokemon with Bidoof? It's basically the Doge of Pokemon. I mean, we've all seen this image, and if this isn't the Mega Evolution we deserve, then I don't know what is. They're both great Pokemon for sure, but it's hard not to see this little guy be given at least a little bit of special treatment, as in a remake of Diamond and Pearl, it would be one of the most popular Pokemon to focus on and to give something special to. Maybe it doesn't need a Mega Evolution, but at least replace that statue with Bidoof. <laughs>